Hello! Thank you for tuning into my channel. It's the first ever subscriber show and tell for my channel, so if you want to see what some of our friends have been working on, please stay tuned. I am so happy that I can share these amazing quilts with you on YouTube. It has been really cool seeing what other people have been working on and seeing that I may have had a small part in inspiring them to create something in some cases. A lot of um, these quilts that you're going to see are from seasoned quilters and they are beautiful. I can't wait to share them. We're going to actually start with Gail. Gail is a newbie quilter and um, she seems to be working really hard at quilting and so she sent me her jewelry box quilt to share with you. If you haven't seen the jewelry box quilt, I'm going to put a description, I mean a link in the description box to that playlist so that you can check out that quilt. That's a, a very cool quilt with a little bit of magic in it and, um, and so I want you to see what Gail came up with. I'm going to show you two pictures of her quilt. One is before the magic happened, before she cut it, and then the second one is after she cuts it and makes the diamonds. So check out Gail's quilt. Give her a shout out in the comments um, if you like this quilt. And well, actually, I already know you like this quilt. Go ahead and give her a shout out in the comments. So here's the jewelry box quilt from Gail. Next is um, Mary's quilt. Mary shared a quilt that is my favorite quilt block of all, the Log Cabin. So I want to put a picture of Mary's quilt here. I would love, Mary, if you're watching this, I'd love to see the whole quilt all laid out when you get a chance. But this picture is awesome I, and I can't wait to share it with you. This is Mary's Log Cabin quilt. Next is um, Teresa. Teresa actually shared two quilts with me and then a couple other pictures that I'm going to share with you here. She made um, two memory quilts from shirts and I've never made a quilt like this so she inspired me to um, make a quilt where I actually cut up the shirt so that's going to be my next shirt quilt. And there are two patterns here. One of them is the nine patch and then the next one is a disappearing nine patch. And there are a couple of little overall blocks in there, like the pockets from overalls and that she made blocks with. But these are really cool. Um, so here are Teresa's memory quilts. Teresa also shared with me a picture of some memory bears that she made and I am very excited that um, that she was able to try making some memory bears. They turned out super 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 cute and when I when she shared it with me the first time I asked her what pattern she used and I'm going to list it here in the um, in the video. It's the McCall's pattern L9547. So if you see this bear and you want to try it, that's the pattern that you need to get. Um, here are her memory bears. So cute. Now the next, um, the next picture that I want to share, it's from Lisa. And Lisa makes art quilts and she makes them small. And um, what she does is she takes a photograph and she creates a piece of art from that photograph. The picture that we're going to share today is an art quilt that is titled Buck and Tom. And I can't wait for you to see it. I'm completely blown away by this. So here is Lisa's art quilt. Her 
quilt is 12 by 12 and she said it so that people can always carry it with them. You might not be able to always have a big quilt wherever you move, but you can always have a, a, a 12 by 12. Now, the last two quilts that I want to share, I am totally inspired by this person um, and she sent me a message that said that one of my videos inspired her and, um, and because of that video, she took a chance and tried something else new and I'll tell you about that in a minute. So the person whose quilts these are is Leora and Leora sent me a message a while ago about um, a curved log cabin quilt and I'm going to show you that one in just a minute. But the first one that she, or well the first one that we're going to look at today is her purple quilt as you guys know. I have a purple quilt and Leora sent me a picture of her purple quilt. And the pattern is called Spangled. Um, she wanted to give credit to that pattern. So the pattern is called Spangled. And I want to show you the front of the quilt and the back. She actually pieced the back and it is very cool, um, the design that she came up with. So let's show the Spangled quilt right now. Now, one cool thing about Leora is she is not a person who's afraid of a challenge. So the story of the Curve Log Cabin quilt is she um, emailed me and said, you know, I make quilts for everybody in my family. Um, I wanted to make a quilt for my son and his new wife. And when she saw my, log, my Curve Log Cabin video, that was the pattern that she wanted to make. So she sent me a picture of this giant quilt and I'm going to share it with you. Um, but as a result of making this quilt, what Leora did was she asked uh, the owner of the quilt shop if she could learn how to service sewing machines. And so as a result of making that curve lock cabin quilt, she was able to begin a new job, a new career, um, just because she was willing to take a chance on herself. So I'm so proud of you, Leora. Thank you so much for sharing this quilt. I'm going to show the Curve Log Cabin quilt that she made three ways. Uh, there are two layouts that she played around with, and then I'm going to show you the, the one that she chose. This is really amazing. <laughs> want to share your quilts, I would love to share them as a part of our subscriber show and tell. All you have to do is send your quilts to purplequiltco at gmail.com. It's here on, on the screen and I am going to also put it in the description box and I will be sharing videos on the first day of every month. So go ahead and send in your quilts. I would love to share them with YouTube and um, and if you would just give credit to the pattern, if it's not your original pattern, if you um, are making, you know, if you're making something and it uses a pattern, I'd love to know what pattern that is as well. Uh, please shout out the folks who were featured in this month's show and tell. Let them know that you think they did a great job on their quilts. Ask them questions. They may be able to answer through, um, through the, the comment section. And thank you so much in advance for supporting our fellow quilters. If you have any questions about what you've seen in this video, leave it in the comments. Thumbs up this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!